honoring a national hero who called Waco his hometown. Doris Miller, a World War II United States Navy man, left his mark on our country and forever brought honor to Waco, Texas. That's right. 25 News reporter Aaron Heff actually spoke with his family and brings us Miller's story in honor of our continuing coverage of Black History Month. Aaron. Joe Sierra, a treasure to our country, but especially the Waco community, Doris Miller left a mark in history that will never be forgotten. It's really about how an individual can do something that's not expected of them and go beyond uh, beyond what's the call of duty. Born in 1919 to Waco area sharecroppers, Doris Dory Miller grew to enlist in the Navy at the cusp of World War II. But it was a clear early morning, anchored in the pristine water on Oahu, that would forever ink Miller's name into our nation's history. What he did is such an impact to not only to minorities, but then also to people that are not, because it's a story about an individual that stepped up and did something great. A blast piercing his ship marked the beginning of what would forever be known as the attack on Pearl Harbor. Shook, Miller rushed the main deck to find his captain gravely wounded. And without hesitation or formal artillery training, Miller man an unattended deck gun, firing on the attacking Japanese. His story and his actions of taking the gun and you know shooting at the Japanese planes is such a great story because he was just a cook. Never having received gunnery training as an African-American service member in his segregated stewards branch, his bravery and boldness under fire forever permeates history. What I would say is stepping up in that moment, not looking at what society's boundaries have placed and going above and beyond in that is really a great testament to what I would say, you know, Black History Month and also for individuals overall. The Miller family explained they're grateful to the Waco community for honoring their family and wanted to extend their thanks to all military families stationed on the mainland and beyond.